Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're going to be doing more of our 100% run of Majora's Mask. <laughs> welcome in Koneka with the first, I see you there. Welcome in Lunar, thank you so much, I'll see you in a little bit. I hope you have an absolutely lovely uh, church service this morning. Happy Easter everybody, by the way, if you celebrate, I hope you're having a lovely Easter. Um, we don't really celebrate explicitly, but is an excuse to cook a big meal. So we are going to be having a ham today. I made some deviled eggs this morning. They turned out so good. So I hope you guys have a good Easter too. And thank you so much for the lurk, Jane. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to see you all this morning. I got my tea right here. We got some raspberry tea today. I've got my LaCroix. I also, I also grabbed a raspberry LaCroix. Apparently it's raspberry day today. Um, <laughs> apparently. I grabbed that for my my cold drink. Happy Bunny Day, Koneko. Happy Bunny Day. Yes. Are you do you are you doing anything for Easter? Do you celebrate Easter? Um, we celebrate any chance to have, you know, good food. So <laughs> we're having the ham. But that's it. That's all we're really. Sometimes we get chocolates and stuff. We might go get some discount Easter chocolates that go on sale after today, but we'll see. I chose the raspberry tea this morning because I'm a little bit sleepy and it's actually got some, it's not just herbal tea, it's actually got some black tea in it. We decorate eggs and we're having quiche for dinner. Ooh, oh yeah, 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 your Miffy egg. That's right. Um, Oh, that's so good. I like quiches. I like quiches. Okay, so as you guys know, we like to start our episodes of Artistic License with A- Personality quiz. We're going to do what slime texture are you? I don't know why I thought um, slime texture would be good for Easter, but I saw it and I was like, that's, e I don't know why. Apparently slime is Easter. I don't know. But that's what we're going to do. Thank you so much, Jane. Thank you so much. Oh, we'll go back to it for a second. Yeah, this is my room. I love it. I'm so happy. Look at how many pins. Oh, wrong hand. This Look at how many pins we have, you guys. That's all you. That's all you guys subbing and supporting me. So thank you so much. I'm also addicted to a particular kind of chocolate that's only available in the month leading up to Easter. So I got a little extra of that. Yeah, the problem, the, the uh, chocolate in the U.S. is not so good. So like, uh, I don't know, I'm, I am picky. I like Ferrero Rocher's and I like Dove chocolate and I like Godiva. Um, you know, so there are chocolates that I like, but like your typical chocolate, like uh, you find a lot here, like Russell Stover's and variety chocolate or something that's terrible it's freaking terrible and hershey's is terrible first question is time oh okay well let's go ahead and let's do the first question welcome to new and returning slimers find out what slime text you are you, you are with this quiz with three lovers of slime okay feel free to share your results on instagram and tag okay sweet let's go um oh 15 seconds uh pick a sound effect oh my god uh snap okay Okay, the next one's not timed good. That was a little bit stressful. Uh, now choose a texture material, velvet, bubble wrap, sand, stained glass, or satin. Ooh, um, I think velvet. Yeah, out of those. Although I'm very drawn to the stained glass, but I think velvet for me. Okay, where do you, would you buy most of your slimes from? I love buying from up and coming or new shop launches. I stick with small indie shops with the local customer base. I go for mid-size uh, well-known shops in the slime community, the biggest, the most famous slime shops are my jam. I, I have to say, I don't buy a lot of slime, but I, I have a lot of fun making slime. So I will probably, I will not buy from smaller, uh, shops just because I don't want to like deal with what if it's not right. Cause I know how many things can go wrong with slime making. So I usually go for like these two. So we're going to say mid-sized well-known shops in the slime community. Yes. What sense do you seek out the most? What excites you the most? Okay, looking, watching, hearing, listening, touching, feeling, pushing, pulling, grabbing. Give me all the sensory. I don't really seek out sensory stuff. Hearing, listening, for sure. I, I do like to, like, listen, like, podcasts and things like that. And I love a slime that has a good, like, bubble pops. Where are you most likely to be found? Your room. Yeah. <laughs> Space, shopping, a concert, coffee shop, work, school. Uh, now that we work from home all the time, like, your room. Yes. <laughs> Before that, maybe work. You got DIY clay. Oh, I love clay. Oh, butter slimes are the 
best. I love the DIY, like clay in the slime. Oh, it feels so good. Uh, what is your dream job career? Educator, singer, musician, visual artist, astronaut, politician, influencer, researcher, entrepreneur, inventor, or therapist? Thick and glossy. Oh, I love those. Educator. That's what I'm doing right now. And that is also my dream job or career. Uh, thick and glossy. You're classic with no need for that fancy stuff. You tend to go with the flow and people are naturally drawn to you. I am drawn to you, Koneko. That's true. Comfort is important to you, but you enjoy a good adventure every now and then. And when properly planned by you, of course, words that describe you, responsible, sincere, reserved, analytical, hardworking, and trustworthy. Ah, um, thick and glossies are very simple, yet fun and ultra satisfying texture that we all know and love. The texture is holdable, stretchy, and thick. Yes. Amazing for bubble pops and pokes. I agree. Okay. Educator. Scenario based. You wake up on a deserted island. What do you do first? I would enjoy the view, look for shelter, begin building a raft. So we just wake up on this deserted island. We don't know how we end up there. Okay. Start collecting resources. Scream to the sky. Nervous breakdown. Uh, Start collecting resources. Yes. Uh, Things like um, water are going to be very important. I learned that from Haymitch in The Hunger Games. One of your coworkers slash friends ate your lunch. How do you handle it? The fuck? I leave a note. May I assume they need it? I send out a company-wide memo email. Revenge. I lace the next lunch with laxatives. No, uh, the truth is I would probably do nothing. I would just be like, well, I guess I get to order poke now because my lunch got eaten. So I can I can then order some DoorDash poke. And if it happens again, maybe I do some of these other things. But one time it's probably an accident or like there's a reason. So, yeah. Scenario, your friend walks through your door with puffy, teary eyes. What do you do? I don't notice at first, but then make a self-deprecating joke and ask what's up. Oh, I ask them if they like to talk about it or be distracted, and I run to the kitchen to grab their favorite snack. Give them a big old consented hug and then lead them to the couch to sit, chat, do an activity that you enjoy. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love poke. Deconstructed sushi. So if you like sushi or things like that, you will like poke. It's basically deconstructed sushi. Um, I say, hey, what's on your mind? I want to talk about it. I make a silly joke to ease the tension to get into the topic or offer ways to support. I only slightly jokingly exclaim, who's going to get it now? And then devise a revenge fantasy we may or may not actually do. Ask them what's going on and offer various solutions and steps we can take together to make it better. Um, I notice immediately and ask, talk, sit, or act, and then suggest different things we can do to regulate together. So I don't, there isn't really one, it really depends on the person, right? Some people, I may not say anything because I know they maybe are trying to hide it, but I guess if they're coming to my house, maybe they're not trying to hide it. So maybe, so this one, I think like, yeah. Okay. Last question. Pick a word. Comfy, eclectic, breathtaking, mystical, mystical. Um, Nearby sushi place has poke bowls and I keep telling myself I should try one. You should definitely try one. I love it. I love them. DIY clay. Fuck yeah. I love this. DIY clay slime. You're the mama bear, papa bear, pregnant bear of your friend group. <laughs> uh, you're reliable and ready for most situations and often looking out for the best interests of the people you care about. Need a snack? You got them. Need a Band-Aid? Already in your bag. Words that describe you, gentle, sensitive, nurturing, open-minded, and resourceful. You can't go wrong with a DIY clay slime. That's true. You can't. Them things is amazing. They typically come with a clay topper sculpture, and you can satisfyingly mush into the slime base. DIYs offer endless possibilities and truly unique healing experience that speaks to your inner child. Yeah, I I do really, really fucking love this type of slime. (laughs) I know, I know. I'm the mom friend. I know. (laughs) Oh, gosh. Okay, let's see what the other ones were. Thick and glossy, clear, icy, foam, crunchy, jelly, cloud, or butter. I love butter slime too, but butter is basically like an already, like this is the DIY clay slime, but like already smushed together. I love this one too, but I hope someone gets this one because I want to know what it says. I love butter slimes. Love them so much. Okay. All right, you guys, let's get the game going. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So I turned on the game this morning and then I remembered that we did not beat (laughs) the next two beaver races. So we've got two beaver races to do. 
we've got two beaver races to do. I forgot about that. I thought we were done with beaver races, but we are not done with beaver races. So, um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go do beaver races. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Um, okay. So we're going to jump. Oh shoot. That's not what I meant to do. We were already, we went the wrong way. Fuck. Okay. Hang on. Ah, no, let's just do this. Let's, I went the wrong way. Load state. We're just going to load back to where we were. We're just going to load back to where we were. Okay. If we turn, we're supposed to turn around. Turn around. There's the beavers. Okay. It's really loud in my ear. Hang on. Let me turn down my volume. It's so loud. Okay. It, that might have made it quiet for you guys. Uh, okay. That may be good balance. Y'all tell me if that's good balance. Uh, the game looks a little loud for you guys. Let me turn that down just slightly. Okay. All right, there's the beavers. There's the beavers. We got the bottle, but we need the heart. He's back, little brother. Yeah, he's back, big brother. But we don't have any more empty bottles, do we, little brother? No, we don't have any big, any big brother. <laughs> if you say you still want to race, though, that's fine. What will you do? Okay, so we're going to race. We're going to race. Oh, my God. Half laundry, half food. That was me yesterday, Jane. I do laundry on Saturdays. So, like, before stream and after stream, I'm, like, lurking in other people's streams doing laundry. Because, like, you know, you got to get up, like, every 20 minutes to laundry. But it's not, like, totally engrossing to where you can really pay much attention. Audio is good now. Okay, thank you, Koneko. All right. Let's go. We can do it. Maybe. Oh, nope, we're going to mess up at the very beginning. We're going to mess up at the very beginning. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, I'll race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. The first ring is the hardest. You can do it, Karen. You can do it. It starts beeping at you so soon into the race. Don't beep at me. It's very stressful. I'm trying to remain calm. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Second try. We did it. We did it. So true. I've never played any Zelda or seen any Zelda played except maybe this stream. <laughs> Is it worth playing on Switch? Yes. 100%. It's worth playing on Switch, Jane. I love Majora's Mask. It's uh, the Zelda with the best story, I would say, out of all the Zeldas. There's a bit of static in the audio. It might be the minigame. Maybe because I was not talking. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Okay. He did it again, little brother. He did it again, big brother. That's shameful, little brother. Now race me. Okay, so we have to race the big brother now. Let's save state again. Because we don't want to redo any of that. Time limit's 150, but there's 25 rings this time. Don't fall behind. Okay. We won't fall behind, sir. The first ring is the hardest. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Second ring got me. Let's try again. Ooh. 
Whee! Ugh. I always do this on the first stupid ring. Okay, I'll race. Let's try again. It's the game? Okay. We'll see what we can do after this. Motherfucker. <sighs> okay, we still have time. I don't need to restart it yet. Oh my god, but now I'm smashing into walls over and over. We can still catch up. We can still catch up. Stop making such dramatic turns. That's not necessary. Did it wrong again. Okay. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I gotta start over. Wasted too much time. Okay, try again. Oh my god, now I'm smashing in the walls again. Ugh. Okay. Go down. <laughs> Start over. Try again. This wouldn't be so bad if you didn't have to do it four freaking times. Stop smashing into the walls, Link. Ah! No, no, don't kick off that way. Here we go. Come on, get back on track. Stop! that count I think I fucked it up because of that ring Let's see can we finish it in 10 seconds I don't think so yeah <sighs> okay let's try again
fuck. I was doing so good. Turn around. Turn around. Whatever, we're starting over. Okay. Whew. This time's it. <laughs> okay. Again, 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 again. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. <sighs> Thank you. Oh my god. want that heart piece. It's not 100% if I skip a heart piece. <laughs> Motherfucker. But now these jumpy ones, I can't make it. I can't make it. I wasn't lined up right. Okay, try again. back up. Uh-oh. Why are we having slowdown? Oh my god. Emulator, no. Do not misbehave right now. Oh my god. Just swim like this. I think I'm too far behind now. Yeah, I am. Okay.
Okay. We're going to start cheesing it because this is taking forever and I just feel like at some point it doesn't, it's not interesting anymore. So let me go look at some things um, in my settings. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. We can beat it. Um, but for some reason, like, I'm just, I'm just off. Like, the first one went fine. I don't know why the second one's doing this. Bonks the mini game. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, where is the option that I'm looking for? There we go. Okay. So left is save, right is load. Okay. Why did it go all the way back to here? Oh, because I'm on the wrong save state. Hang on. There we go. Now let's go to this one. Okay, I'll race. And just to make sure... Yes, okay. Oh my god. Ah! I gotta keep my finger on the A button to do that. Oh my god. Ah! Even cheesing at this thing is annoying. Oh my god. Ah, I fucked myself over, didn't I? Should not have saved there. Let's try one more time. Ah, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> I fucked myself over. We gotta... S oh, wait. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Why are we having so much slowdown? Maybe this is why it sounds crackly to you guys, whatever's causing the slowdown. After this, we'll save and restart the game. Or restart the emulator. Oh my god. Get in the hole! Get in the hole! There, motherfucker. <sighs> okay. He's a formidable opponent, little brother. You're just uh, talk, uh, big brother. <laughs> if we give that to him, I wonder if he'll leave us alone, little brother. <laughs> yeah, I want to quit, big brother. <laughs> you got a piece of heart! Yeah, any of the movement. Yeah, I totally agree. Pre Pre-3DS. Like, that's why we cheese the Octorok one, too, because the aiming in this game is like... So not really that accurate. Please let it be over. Okay. It's over, friends. It's over. You don't have to fight me anymore. I will not race you anymore. Okay. Let's go back to our sa default. Okay. Save. Let's just, let's get this all saved. Okay. And then, ah, thank you so much, Jane. Thank you so much. Ah, okay. Let's, um, <laughs> let's restart the emulator. Let's restart the emulator. 
maybe that will help. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the applause. <sighs> okay, let's open this back up. <laughs> I love that wow sound effect. Come on. Oh, emulator doesn't want to go. Okay, hang on, let's try again. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the applauses. Okay. All right. So we are going to next. We're next going to go pick up our sword. We're going to go pick up our sword. It's all should be all finished now. Here we go. Okay, we don't need Zora mask right now. We can put on the bunny hood. <clears throat> All right, let's get our shiny gold sword. Only beat in boss three? No, we've done, we've beaten two temples. We need to have one more temple to beat. And welcome in, by the way, Gohan. Season SS1. Oh, Super Saiyan 1. I thought that was saying Season 1. Super Saiyan 1. Yeah, no, we've beaten the first and second temple. We have not beaten the third temple yet. We got the Razor Sword. Now we got the Gilded Sword. Yeah! Okay, so we have the super awesome sword. There it is. We can't make a sword stronger than that. No matter how many times you use it, you'll never lose its edge. Try it. Oh, I used up most of the gold dust. Just a tiny bit was left, so I got rid of it for you. Oh. Fuck yeah, 1.75 damage, you got it. Okay, so now we've got our sword, and the next thing to do is get the rest of Mikau's eggs. So we have some fun stuff for that. Welcome in, by the way, Gohan. Um, my name is Karen Terry, I'm a variety streamer. So in addition to this 100% Majora's Mask run that we're doing right now, uh, I also play a lot of Sims 2, and we do um, a media analysis podcast, like we just watched Death Note, me and my um, co-host for the podcast, and uh, talked about it. Uh, we're, we're also reading through The Hunger Games this year in regards to that, so like we do lots and lots of fun stuff. Um, another thing we commonly do is we played like through Final Fantasy X, and I'll probably play through some other Final Fantasy games too, so like, if that's your jam, uh, I do a lot of that type of stuff as well. Basically, anything with a good story. Like, I want to talk about stories and, like, what I love about different stories. Okay, so next we have to go to the Pirate Bay again. I know we already finished this section, but there's one other little thing we got to get from the Pirate Ladies. <gasps> really, Jane? I love Final Fantasy X. I love it so much. It's got... The, it's the best. The jump slash glitch makes it super powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not really planning on um, doing that glitch or anything. It's just more like, you know, I want the sword. Okay, let's get on a boat. Let's get on a boat. Come on, Link. Here we go. Do it. Yeah, I'm on a boat. Okay, so we got to... How, ma how many masks do we have? These are all the masks that we have right now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... 13, 14, 15, we got 15 masks. Okay. Thank you, Jane, thank you. I love Final Fantasy X. That's one of my favoritest games in the whole wide world. Um, yeah, I mean, there's like two or three places that game makes me cry every time. Yeah, 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 I have Hookshot, I have Hookshot. We finished the Pirate's Fortress. We did that um, kind of last stream. Okay, here we go. Let's get a pretty, pretty picture of this beautiful lady. <clears throat> All right, yes, we want to keep this picture. Now, um, the easiest way to get out of the Pirate Fortress, as you know, is just get caught. So <laughs> let's get thrown out. <laughs> Bye, ladies. See you later. Um, you know, I thought we had like a little thing there, but I guess not. You know, I just wanted to ride boats with you. I thought that would be fun, but whatever. You had other ideas. 
It's fine. I totally understand. Wee! Dolphin jumps. And dolphin jumps. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so remember our friend the fisherman um, wants to have a little, you know, just a little personal photo. A little personal photo for bedtime um, of a pirate lady. So we're going to go help him out with that um, because, you know, we do not kink shame here. All interests are valid and he likes pirate ladies. You know, there's no shame in that. So we're going to help out a brother. I love Zora Link. I love doing the dolphin jumps. It's like so fun. He's so fun. Okay, bunny time though. Bunny time is, is my true form. So we have to do that. All right, so fisherman is, is in here. So let's go talk to him and say hello to our fisherman. Okay, so we don't really want to talk. We want to do this. Yeah, talk to the goldfish. Help me, please. Take me back to the waters near Pinnacle Rock. If you want that seahorse, bring me a pictograph of a female pirate. Okay. I have it, sir. Oh, that's it, that's it. I had a picture like that. Well, aren't you a crafty one? You'll give that to me, won't you? In exchange, I'll give you this. We got the fish. Okay, we got a seahorse. Hurry, take it home to Pinnacle Rock. Thank you, thank you. Oh, this is, wait, this is a seahorse. Thank you. Hey, let's hurry back to Pinnacle Rock. Okay, let's go. All right, so we get to, let's do this. Okay. And we get to run back. So Pinnacle Rock is that rock over there. So let's put on our Zora face and we're gonna go swim. Whee! Dolphin jumps, dolphin jumps. Yeah, swimming usually sucks. Like water usually sucks in video games, not in Majora's Mask. They said, fuck that. Water, you're gonna go faster and it's gonna be more fun, you know? So I really love that about Majora's Mask. So to get to this next little area, we basically just got to swim through here. Um, if we dive, we can read the sign and it'll kind of tell you a little bit. Oh, no, read the sign, motherfucker. There we go. Um, beware murky water and sea snakes. Okay, so it's time to eat some unagi, you guys. Are you ready? I love unagi. It's delicious, delicious on the poke. So, you know, let's have some unagi poke. Uh, OG, agree. Agree. Um, there's things about the remake that are not so bad, but overall, I like the 624 version better, which is why we are doing it, you know, this way. I don't want all those updates. I want the original with the slight jank and all of that. I think it's part of it. You have strange powers, Link. I have a request for you. Please follow me. Okay. So you have to follow him exactly. Just like this. Now, the truth is you don't really need the seahorse to do this part um, unless you want a piece of heart, which we are going to get, of course. But you can finish this area. Um, and not get the piece of heart by just walking in this way. So if you already know the route, like if you have it memorized, then you don't necessarily need the seahorse to like follow him. So you can still do this section. You just can't get the piece of heart from it. You do need the seahorse to get that, but it's kind of like a bonus prize. Okay, so we gotta walk this way. Here in the depths of Pinnacle Rock live many dangerous sea snakes. My friend is trapped here. Link, can you please find a way to rid the area of all the sea snakes and help my friend? Oh, what are you having for dinner, Koneko? Visually, it's tears above the OG, but they changed so many little mechanics. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. I totally agree. Um, the mechanics are just not at all the same, you know? Okay, so here's basically what you do. There's eels in the holes. There's some eels in these holes. There's some eels in these holes. See, it's scary face. So you get him to jump out and then you like, oop, it's this button. Yeah. Ah. And then you do it like this. You try to hit them in the neck. Dang it, I missed. Come back. And then once you hit him twice, Ah, thank you, Jane. Once you hit him twice, you can dive down. 
and you can get the prize. Now, we are looking for the rest of the eggs. So the only thing you really have to get from here is the rest of the eggs. But um, we are, of course, going to go collect all the prizes because you don't get the piece of heart unless you kill all the eels and get all the prizes. You can save the seahorse blow and bring it back to the fisherman. It'll get you the same piece of heart. Oh, really? Oh, okay. So if you don't do the seahorse trade, that's how you get it. I understand. I've never done it that way. I did not even know you could do that. That's very interesting. So I guess what I said before is not true. You do not have to bring the seahorse here if you want the piece of heart. Boom. Boom. Gotta follow. Yeah, you still gotta know the pathway. Like, if you don't have the seahorse, you still do have to do that. Um, if you don't have the pathway memorized, then it's not gonna work out for you. Because you'll never make it. He'll, it'll just teleport you back. Okay. These are rupees? Yes. Oh, and some more magic. So Sweet. All right, we had got two big eels, so that's gonna make two poke bowls, because um, you definitely need this much eel for your poke bowl. Uh, you need to fill it up. Okay, now we can have three poke bowls. So whoever would like them, the first three are ready. You can have it. Come on, slice it. There we go. There's one sign that points the wrong direction. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, you can't just follow the signs. You can't just follow the signs. The seahorse mostly follows the signs, but not exactly. So you, like, literally have to memorize it. It's so silly. Oh, that... I, okay. Anyways, come here. Get wrecked. There we go. I think it's later on, but I know which one you're talking about, Gohan. Yeah, that is true. Um, it's one of the signs. Maybe it's two of the signs. I don't know. I always just follow the seahorse because I'm not going to memorize that. <laughs> okay, so that's two Zora eggs. Okay, we're going to go... Yeah, we already got that one. Yeah, we got that one. So let's go get this eel down here. There's also pots along the bottom, so like if you run out of magic from having to do this like attack here, you can go and smash pots at the bottom and you'll probably get more magic. Yeah, the seahorsey is way easier. Plus you get to help a guy out. You know, I want to help out the fisherman and get his like little creepo picture. He it's a tough world in Majora's Mask. They don't have the internet to just look these things up. So, you know, All they have is the one pictograph. You never really see anyone else use it, so I have to assume they're, the pictographs themselves aren't even very common. Smash the pot. No, press it. There we go. All right. <clears throat> That's what, six Unagi bowls? And then there's some down here. I think there's eight. Is there eight total? That sounds right to me. Is there eight total, Gohan? I feel like you also know a lot about this game. Is it eight total? Ah, I did the stupid. I got it to glitch again. Come here, sir. I'm pretty sure we need one more egg. Oh, this isn't it. This is a chest. I think there's eight eels total. Eight holes. Eight eel holes, right? It's a red rupee. Okay, so there's one more. And it's got to be the one with the egg. Okay, there's the last one, I think. Oh, there's only six? Oh, okay. I just can't count. That's pretty normal for me, though. Seahorses reunited. Oh, eels, but it's okay. You answered it anyways. Okay, so when the seahorses are reunited, 
you go talk to them. When the button says speak, there we go. Thank you, Link. This is a symbol of my deepest gratitude. You got a piece of heart. Yay. So we got a new piece of heart. And then there's the last egg, happened to be in the last spot. Whichever eel you kill last, that's always where the seahorse is going to be. It doesn't matter which one, whether you start at the top or bottom or just skip around. <clears throat> and that's it. Now we can surface. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Oh, not that way. This way. Straight up. Whee! Let's do some spins. Yeah! That moon is so big. And then it doesn't really matter which way you go because the murky waters will just teleport you here, which is where you want to go anyways. So, oh, wrong direction. Just kidding, this way. Okay, and here's our friend. Oh wait, you know you teleport twice, that was right. So if you get stuck, this guy's here and he'll tell you, Macau, have you seen a gold colored fish around here? Gold colored fish know this area very well. I was thinking of getting one to guide me to Pinnacle Rock. If the water wasn't so murky, I wouldn't have to rely on guidance from a gold colored fish. So he'll tell you. But now we have to go put the eggs in their spot. Dolphin jump. Whee! 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 Koneko, which of these eggies is your OC? Because one of them is your OC, right? Is your eggy uh, a uh, Gerudo... A Gerudo Pirate Fortress one? Or a uh, eel egg? Okay, so we go back up here. And let's drop some eggs. Making some egg drop soup. More slowdown. I don't know what the heck is going on with the emulator today. I guess I should have rebooted my computer before I started stream, but I didn't do that. So we're just going to suffer, I guess. It was, I remember we had some slowdown a little bit when we were doing like a lot of Goron rolls. So I don't know. <clears throat> All right, last eggy. There's some some good row for our pokeballs. Some Zora row. All right, now we got to go talk to the scientist guy. What happened to the rest of the eggs? The eggs can't hatch if they aren't all together. Hurry, find the rest of the eggs and put them in the aquarium. I did. This is all the eggs, isn't it? What happened? What? I swear to God, this is all the eggs. What the fuck? There's seven eggs. What? I can't see. Why is there only two? What? How did we miss eggs? <clears throat> How many eggs in Great Bay? Yeah, the three remaining eggs can be found at Pinnacle Rock. Yes, we did that. And we did the Pirate Fortresses one's last stream. No, we didn't. <gasps> I didn't do the Pirate Fortress ones yet. We just got the hook shot and we stopped. Ah, oh, I forgot, I forgot. Okay, we do have to go do the Pirate Fortress eggs. For some reason, I thought we did them last stream, but we totally didn't. Okay, well, anyway, let's go to the Pirate Fortress. I remember, I remember why now, because I wanted to beat up the Pirate Fortress people with my gold sword. That's what happened. Okay, so we got to go back to the Pirate Fortress. We only got one egg from there. I wish there was an owl to put me near the Pirate Fortress, too. Um, it's so far away from any of the owl statues in this area. 
So, okay, my bad. For some reason, I thought we did that last stream. We totes didn't. Um, so yeah, we gotta go get some eggies from the pirate fortress. There is four there, and we only got one last time. There's three more we got to get. I just have bad memory. All right. So now that we have the hook shot, we can navigate this area way, way easier. So let's get out our hook shot and let's get out our stone mask. We still want to use that. And we'll take off the Zora mask. We'll do this. Okay. So now what we can do. Uh, come on. Get on there. No. Did I put my stone mask on? I don't know if I did. Am I wearing it? I can't tell. Whatever. Oh, I'm not wearing it. I thought I put it on. Whatever. Uh-oh. Why are we cra- Okay, I thought the game was gonna crash for a second. Okay, just kidding. Okay, let's try that again. Whee! Alright, so entrance is over here. We're gonna put on the stone mask for real this time. But now that we have the hookshot, we don't have to do all kinds of crazy navigations like we did before with all the swimming. We can just go straight in. Okay, here we go. Take this off. Put the stone mask on. Okay, it's on for sure this time. And we're going to swim over here. The boat's going too fast. I can't get on it to ride. So I usually just let these little fishies eat me. It's okay. It's not a big deal. They won't take much. They only eat a little bit. Only a quarter heart. So it's okay. Alright, so we go back over here. Like we did before. But instead of having to press down the switch and do all that nonsense, we have this hookshot grapple right here that we can use. All right, and then we can run up here. And then I think I go up the ramp, right? Yeah, we go up this ramp. All right, and since we have the stone mask, we can kind of ignore all of this. Um, and then we want to go this way. And we're going to utilize this one. This little hookshot. All of these little guys are hookshot grapples. So we can do that. And then there's a door up here. Oh wait, no, it's not over there. It's over here. Yeah, we hookshot up again. For some reason, navigating this little pirate fortress area is a little bit challenging for me to remember like where to go <laughs> and what you're supposed to do. Um, it's just, it doesn't like lay out properly in my head. That's the wrong door. See stuff like that. <laughs> For some reason, I it's a little bit challenging. So this was the door we were supposed to go through. Not that one. Alright, and then since we have the stone mask on, we can just walk past this lady here. We don't have to play the guard minigame. But, oh no, what's this? <gasps> halt. We aren't fooled by that mask. Okay, lady. And since we have the Gilded Sword, we only have to hit her like three times, I think. It's not very many. She'll block most of the attacks like an annoying Wolfos. But when she attacks, you get a little in. Yeah, we only have to do it three times with the Gilded Sword. Ugh, don't think it ends here. Okay, lady. Alright, so now... We can proceed through this door, and we can get an egg. Um, so we need, let's see, we're going to need the bottle. Uh, oh, I need to take off the stone mask, because we're going to need our Zora mask too. Oh, but we got a hook shot first. Okay, I know what I need to do. So you go here, and the bottle goes here. So then let's hook shot. You can hook shot up to this wood right here. 
if I press the right button, you can anyway. And then you can Zora Mask so that you can sink down. And then I like to ignore the enemies. Um, they're a little annoying, but they won't hurt too much. And then you can just scoop. Get an egg. Yay. And then we surface. And we get out. And then you can slash these pots to get some hearts back. They usually have hearts in them. I know that one had arrows. Hearts? No, rupees. Okay. Well, usually they have hearts. Anyway, we're not going to forget to put our stone mask back on. And here we go. All right. So the next one we need to go to... <laughs> okay. Let's go to the north now. I think this is rupees in here. Yeah, this is rupees. Okay. We're going to go to the north. You can roll right into them and they won't even notice you. The stone mask is magical. Epic slowdown. Okay. We're going to hook shot here. And then hook shot here. And then we go through this door. This is another one where it's like a... Oh, I had the stone mask on! Motherfucker. I swear to God I didn't take it off, but I guess I did. Whatever, we put it back on. We try again. Don't fall on that little ledge. Stupid bitch just does not want me to have eggs. I just want eggs, lady. I just want eggs. You don't need them. I know you think you do, but you don't need them. We've already covered this. All right, so we want to go this one to the north. Come on. There we go. Don't take your stone mask off this time, however the fuck I did that. All right. Go through this way. Anyways, as I was saying, you can just walk past her with the stone mask. You don't have to do the little, like, dodgy minigame. But we can take the stone mask off here because she doesn't notice. Halt. We aren't fooled by that mask. Okay, lady. Got her once. Got her twice. Got her three times. Ugh, don't think it ends here. Okay. I do think it does, though, because I'm about to get another egg, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Okay, so let's get our Zora mask. We have our empty bottle. We have our hook shot. So same deal. You hook shot up. Put on your Zora mask. Cry because these things won't stop biting you. And then you do this. Oh my gosh. Fucking Christ. Just, mm, just get the fucking egg. There. <laughs> Curse a lot. Apparently that's required. Okay. Just leave me alone. Stupid bitch fish. There we go. Let's get some hearts. Now, Link, fill up your hearts so you can shoot your sword of power. Two hearts. Okay, let's take off the Zora mask and we'll put the stone mask back on. Oh, so we don't accidentally dump out our egg. Let's switch to a, there we go. Okay, stone mask back on. Now this one, you jump down, and then I think you go back to the same spot, but there's like a third grapple you can do. So we grapple, 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 instead of just grapple, grapple. So we hook shot here. Hook shot to there. Yeah, hook shot everywhere. 
thought that was going to be too low, but it wasn't. Okay. This is another lady that you dodge past if you don't have the stone mask or you just walk past her. The purple ones aren't as smart as the other colors. Okay, so this is awesome. If you have the stone mask, guess what you can get? Da -na -na -na. This is another 100 rupee spot. So now that we've uncovered that, we can add that to, uh, to what we do each three day cycle is go get 100 rupees from the Gerudo ladies. All right. That's as far as you go. <laughs> do you think you can trick us with that mask? I don't know, I tricked all your friends. Like, the fuck, bitch? Ugh, not bad. But don't think it ends here. It does end here, li literally, you're the last one. Okay, so now we can go through here and this is the last egg we need. I don't know why I thought we did this last stream. We totally didn't. All right, so let's grapple for victory. Hook shot. Shots, shots, shots. Okay, dive down. Oh, dive down. Oh my god. Dive, not swim. There we go. I can't push the right buttons. <clears throat> you got the egg! Okay, now Macau has to go back. Can I get some hearts? Yes, I can get some hearts. All right. All right, so we don't need to put the stone mask back on. We can go back to our um, traditional form. Oh, actually, you know what? You know what would be faster? It would be faster to just Song of Soaring. All right, well, Song of Soaring back to the lab. Okay, now we have all the eggies. Sorry, bros. I messed up at first. But I got all your siblings now. Sink to the bottom. One egg, two egg, red egg, blue egg. Okay, last one. Good, all of the eggs have been brought together. It's going to start quick. Come to the front of the aquarium. Okay. Yes, sir. We gotta be Macau, though. Macau, pow! No, just jump down. There we go. Babies! <gasps> My babies are born! Wowie, they're so cute. Look at this! What does this mean? What in the world could this mean? I've got it! Don't you understand? The way these Zora children have lined up, it means... You gonna, you gonna tell me? You're not gonna tell me. I, ha I have to. Okay. I understand. Can't finish your story. Got it. Okay. New Wave Bossa Nova!
You learn the new wave bossa nova. It's a melody taught by Zora children that invigorates their singing voices. Yes, that's the instrument. Mmm, if the Zora were born to teach this song, then hurry. You must play the song for the Zora who laid these eggs. Okay, well, you know what? You got, it's a good idea. We're actually not going to do that yet. Because it's already the final day. So, here's what we're going to do. Um, let's soar over there. I shouldn't have I should have left Macau's mask on. The Macau, because we're going to put it right back on. Force of habit, I just want to be Bunny Link all the time. You're gonna fly over there. Because there's a piece of heart inside the Zoro domain that we need to get. So, we gotta be Macau for it. Okay, I think, wait, can Macau take pictures? Macau can't take, no, he can, he can take pictures, okay. So there was um, a guy, if you remember before, that really, really wanted a picture of Lulu. So we're gonna we're gonna help him out too. Um, there's a lot of like you know kind of shady situations with these men wanting pictures in this game. Well, it's not just humans; it's Zora too. So we're gonna help this guy out. Yes. So let's go in and let's talk to everybody as as Macau. We talked to everybody as Link before, but not as Macau. So this is the guy. Ah, uh, Macau, what's Lulu doing now? I'm so jealous of you to always be able to breathe the same air as Lulu. And you know a side of Lulu that I don't. You know her private side, don't you? That's wonderful. I won't ask you to introduce me. A pictograph will do. Show me Lulu's private side. Okay, so this is what you do. You give him the pictograph. Oh, Lulu's face, it's irresistible. Please let me have this, okay, okay? And you get a red rupee. Okay, was that worth invading Lulu's privacy? No, it wasn't. So we're not doing it again. <laughs> For this kind of pictograph, I'll take as many as you have. So bring more. So yeah, he'll keep giving you red rupees if you keep giving him pictures. So now that we are Macau, when we talk to these guys, we can actually get into the rooms. Hey Macau, I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been? Oh, that's right. Evan, your band leader, was looking for you. Okay, so we can go in here, we can talk to Evan. Right? No, this isn't this isn't the leader. This is the drummer. Let's talk to him. Mikhail, where have you been? Where have you been? I was worried. The concert in town is coming up, but it seems like all the band members are in a funk. I bet you didn't know that, huh? Especially Lulu. I haven't heard her voice in such a long time. She's usually in good spirits, too. Uh, oh, I wonder if this is related to the ocean turning all weird. Actually, I know a little bit of Lulu's secret. You want to hear it? Yeah, I want to hear it. There's a rumor that the ocean's getting weird because there's trouble offshore at Great Bay Temple. And they say when that happens, something bad will befall the Zora's descendant who's been protecting the temple. Do you catch my drift? And lately, Lulu's been looking kind of weird. Maybe Lulu's the... <gasps> What? Okay, so here's what you want to do in here. Um, this is for a piece of heart. So we want our grappling hook. We're going to take off the Zora mask. And we want to grapple up to here using this branch. Why they have this up here when there's no way for a Zora to get up here, I don't really fully understand. But anyway, here is Macau's diary. So you grapple up here as, as a Link, and then you read it as Macau. Because <laughs> if you read it as Link, you can't read Zora. So apparently, like, changing into the people also gives you, like, language abilities. Macau, my diary. Today, Joppas and I had a jam session. He's not good with words, but he writes great riffs. Here's what I played. Okay, so that's the my part of the riff. Today, I had Lulu listen to my session with Joppas. She seemed to like it a lot. Lulu's a pretty great girl, after all. Today, I had another jam session with Joppas. Evan was in a bad mood because the two of us are writing songs on our own. Here's what I played. Okay, so you want to write those down. We're going to need them in a second. I already wrote them down in my notes. Evan called me over this morning. It was something about Lulu. He was in a real rush. I wonder what it could be. By the way, it seems my lucky color this week is green. 
true. Okay, so now that we read that, we can go back down. <clears throat> and we're going to go to the next room. Macau, do you need to see Joppa's? You're going to have another jam session with him, aren't you? I can't wait. Fuck yeah, I am. It's going to be the jam session of the century. Oh my god, there's so much slowdown. The heckin'. I'm going to save state real quick. See if anything extra is open that doesn't need to be. No? No, I closed all the extra stuff. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Okay. Anyways. Alright, let's talk to him. Macau! Where have you been? I'm all like, hey, where's Macau? The concert's coming up soon. And now our band leader has pulled a vanishing act. Evan's all holed up in his room just writing songs. And to top it off, Lulu just stands out back staring at the sea. She doesn't even respond when you talk to her. And you guys think it's just because Lulu's not interested in me? I'd understand, but I'm telling you, it looks like something's really wrong. Is there something you're trying to hide from me? I'm not running an inquiry or anything, but look we start rehearsing real soon, we're not going to get ready for the concert. Okay, so here's what you do. You pull out your ocarina. Huh? You want to have a jam session? Try following this phrase I wrote on your guitar. Okay, so then he gives his phrase, and we're supposed to give the next part, which is the A down right A. Whoa, that's nice. And then he gives that part, and then we give the next part, which is down, right, left, down. I got it, I got it, I got it! Here I go. Jam out. They all gather and listen in to my sweet jams. Macau's so popular. That's got a good feel to it. Even Evan should like this. But he's so proud he'd resent the fact that we wrote something on our own. I don't think he'd even let the others try it out. What do you think we should do? Okay, so that's our clue. So next we're gonna go talk to Evan. So, Evan is a jealous, jealous man. So, we can't let him know that Macau helped with the song. But, you know what? We're not just Macau. We're also Link. You did. You returned to the good part, Koneko. Uh, Macau, what have you been doing this whole time? Evan, the band leader, has been waiting for you for a while now. Hurry, go in, go in. Okay. <coughs> oh, Koneko, we got all the eggies. And I wanted to ask you... Because your OC is one of the eggs, right? Is it, uh, is it from the pirate fortress or from the eels? Where, where was your eggy captured? Do you know? Okay, so don't talk to him as Macau. You do this, and you talk to him as Link. Ah, uh, if Lulu's voice doesn't return, I don't know what we can do. Hey, how'd you get in here? I shouldn't have put up with this. People not associated with the band aren't allowed in here. If you want an autograph, we'll be giving them out at the town's carnival, so wait until then. Okay, but if you pull out your ocarina, and you play that whole phrase that you just learned, okay? Huh? That song? It works, it works, it works! Evan likes it. He likes the song if it's not from Macau. If you play it from Macau, you don't get this scene.
Not bad. That's a pretty good song I just made up. You got a good sense of melody. We'll play my new song at our next show. Take this and thanks. Fuck yeah, we got a piece of heart. You're not thinking I'm stealing your song, do you? That's literally exactly what you did. You're going to play it without any credit or telling anybody. Like, that's 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 it. You're going to literally say you wrote it when you didn't. <laughs> he used to be, but not anymore. I changed that part. Now he's a descendant of one of the other band members I haven't decided to yet. Oh, well, there's lots of good choices. All the band members have, like, a little bit of personality to them. So you could totally, like, flesh that out um, as their parent. Shut up. I'm busy right now. Uh, Macau, you caught me. Uh, Lulu's been looking kind of weird lately, and I was worried. It's not like I was spying on her or anything. I'm not some kind of weirdo, some sort of slimy fish or anything. Yeah, I just, I, I remember that I have somewhere to be. What time is it? Mm, yeah, I have to be there like now. See ya. Okay, and then he just shoves you the fuck out the way. <laughs> okay, so this is Lulu's room. She is not in here, but what is in here is the Deku scrub for the Zora. Um... Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business with Focus on Zoras. That makes you a potential customer. Is this your room? I'm awfully sensitive to the sea breeze, so I'm sorry, but I'd like you to, like to rent this room from me. But my, this is a messy room. Did something happen here? Well, I really can't do anything about it. I'll sell you a green potion for 40 rupees. Okay, we don't need any green potions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. So you can see there's like a heart piece up there, um, right up there. Uh, but we don't, we haven't done the trading route this time. But anyway, it's the same as the others. You do the trading route, you get the flower, you get the heart piece. So we will do that at some point. And that's how you get in there is you got to talk to the guy and chase him off as Macau. All right. So now we actually need to go to Clock Town. There's a couple things we need to do before nighttime. <sighs> Let's put our bunny hood back on. Okay, we have just one little hour. All right, that's fine though. All right, first thing we need to do is we need to buy our shield back because remember the like like ate it and we don't have a shield right now. So we gotta go get a shield. Um, so I think we can do that in here in the trading post. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can do that here. Welcome. Yeah, we need our we need our shield. <clears throat> yes, we got the hero shield. Because we alike like freaking ate it. No, I didn't even want to buy that. I just I just had to. All right, then we're gonna go deposit our rupees because uh, we don't we don't want to we don't want to waste any rupees. Yes, we're gonna deposit. There we go. Yes, yes, we're gonna give you that much. We're super rich. We've got seventeen hundred rupees now. I can't remember how many rupees you have to be. I, I want to say it's like 5k, but that seems like a fucking lot. Okay. So we have just a second before the before it's time to go do the nighttime stuff. So why don't we do this? Let's do the Gossip Stone quest as Macau. So we'll do the blue one. Bitch. I have a sword. Yeah. Leave me alone. God. All right. Is this the hole? I can never remember which holes it is. Oh, yes, it's this one. Okay. So we're going to get Macau on. We're going to get our ocarina. And the new way Bossa Nova, for some reason, that song is so like hard for me to remember. So I'm just going to like jot it down real quick. So it's right and then up. Oh no, I wrote it wrong. Left, left, up, left, right, down, left, right. Yeah, left, up, left, right, down, left, right. 
Okay. And then we do the ocarina. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys know I have many skills, um, but uh, like I don't know my left from my right. I can't count. <laughs> I just, I cannot do certain things. These are some of them. Yeah, so new way bossa nova, we get the blue. <clears throat> All right, let's go around. Oh no, Ikana is where we want to end up, so we'll do that last. So we'll run this way and do this one next. I think this is the one where I got to blow this rock up. Yep. Pretty sure this is the one. Yeah. Okay. Let's get our ocarina back out. Um, I don't think I'm close enough. I feel like you gotta be like on fucking top of them. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Koneko. <laughs> I can always count on you to document my failures. <laughs> That's the best kind of Twitch viewer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's go to the next one. Bunny hood. It's time to run around with the bunny hood. All right, this hole is over here. Oh, night of the final day. Okay, we'll go do the nighttime stuff as soon as we're done with the gossip stones. Don't squisher me. Mm, maybe it's not over here? I thought it was like over here. But I don't see a hole. So it must not be. There's been two of those moments for getting the code. Yeah, yeah, it's true. The bomber's notebook code is hard for me as well. <laughs> uh, all right. I know the other one is near the observatory. Maybe it's like here. I might have to look up where the hole for this one is. Oh, maybe it's this hole. Aha. Found it. <clears throat> Can I tell you something? So the Zoras are supposed to be the most musical, but out of the like four temple songs, the New Way Bossa Nova is my least favorite. I think it's the worst one. It's not very good. Sorry, it's not. It's not, it's not that good. I, it's the hardest for me to remember to play, how to play, and I just don't think it sounds that great compared to the others. Um, so, uh, it's true. That's how I feel. Welcome back, Gohan. We're dog sitting for the most adorable dog ever. Oh my God. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll wait then. I'll wait to talk to you. Sorry for the ad, friend. <clears throat> it's one of the bummers of Twitch. I wish I had more control over like how the ads worked and when they played and things like that. Um, Cause if I had the choice, I would not have an ad play when you very first open the stream. Like if, if such a choice existed, I would tell Twitch to like wait until someone had watched for like 20 minutes or something like that before they got their, uh, they got an ad. It just doesn't seem fair to me that you should get an ad instantly when you watch. A stream is not the same thing as, as a video. Like you don't really know if you're interested in watching that streamer until you've watched a little bit. Um, you know, it's not like the video where the, the title and thumbnail are communicating so much information. And then of course the information is, uh, is much denser 
uh, in in videos. So it's just, you know, it's not the same. All right, so we did that. We are also gonna get the silver rupee and stock pot in really quick. And then we're gonna deposit our rupees again. And then we're gonna go do the stall children night three. So we haven't got in that 6 p.m. clock town rupee yet. So we're gonna go do that real quick. Clock town so quiet on the third night. I use an ad blocker on only whitelist streamers after I've decided I'm going to watch them regularly. Yeah, I think that's wise, Koneko. Because how annoying is it when like you're browsing Twitch and none of your like regular streamers are are on, but you kind of just want to watch streams. And so you got to just go to a category and browse. And usually I have to click on like three or four streams before I find one that has like a vibe. Oh, I meant to go deposit rupees before I find one that has like a vibe I'm interested in, you know, hanging out for a minute. So it's like I find it very annoying that it, it plays ads like instantly. So yeah, I wish Twitch gave us more control over it. Excuse me, because for where I am right now, I'm very much more interested in attracting viewers than I am in like gaining revenue. So I would definitely forego the the pennies, <laughs> the pennies from AdSense to, uh, to have someone get a chance to know if they want to stick around or not more quickly. Oh man, I meant to deposit 200. Yeah, we're going to deposit 200. I meant to press up twice. There we go. Yes. All right. So now we can go back to Akana. Akana Nana. So this is going to be for another empty bottle. They're working on a preview feature, but it's buggy from what I've seen. Yeah, I haven't I haven't gotten the preview feature to work properly for me. It doesn't it doesn't seem to be super interested. Um, I'm sure eventually they'll work it out because like they freaking need it. But, you know, uh, up left, right. Come on, Epona. 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 Horsey. There you are. Hey, baby. How are you doing? Are you having a good day, Epona? Or good night? I hope so. I wish your memories were preserved when we reset time, but I think they're not. I think I'm refinding you every time. So that's kind of sad for you. Wee. Okay, let's get down. Go up here. All right, so now we need our captain's hat. And we talk to these stall children here. Sir, excuse me, sir. Everyone, give the captain your attention. We haven't seen you in some time, Captain Sir. As per your order, sir, we've been guarding these graves closely. We have all been expecting your next order, sir. What shall we do? Open the grave. I think Epona does remember, but doesn't know how to communicate it. She's a very magic. She is a very magical horse, Koneko. She is a very magical horse. O open it. Yes, sir. Everyone, follow me. All right. This is the most annoying of the stupid style children thingies. So we did the other two. Um, they were kind of annoying too, because you have to beat up that one dude. But this one's even more annoying. <laughs> uh, okay, so first thing we're going to do is we are going to save state. And give me like two seconds. I have to pee. I don't want to do this while I have to pee. So I'll be right back. As you guys know, it'll, it'll be like two seconds. Like, I'll be right back.
Okay. We're back. All right. So when you do this one, the very first thing you want to do. There we go. Okay. So the very first thing we want to do, I'll put the bunny hood back on, is you want to go all the way the fuck across the room over to here. And you want to kill the little wall. Oh, we don't want to go up here. But anyway, this is Dompe's bedroom. This is Dompe's bedroom. Um, yeah, and you can go out that door uh, to get out. But what we actually want to do is come all the way over here. There is a like ceiling. Yep, you can see the shadow growing. Slash. Okay, and you want to kill that bitch. If you don't kill that bitch, it makes this thing very, very difficult. So we killed him. Yay. So now what we want to do is talk to Dompe. <gasps> you? Who are you? I can't see because it's too bright. You're not a ghost, are you? Mm -hmm. A fairy? Oh, it was the fairy's light. In that case, it's just perfect. I came looking for the royal family's legendary treasure, but my torch has gone out. I'm sorry, but could you walk in front of me and light the way? Yes, Dompe, we will do that. You will? In that case, I'll use your light as I walk. Just lead me to the place where you think the treasure chest is buried. I'll even split the treasure with you. I'm counting on you. Okay, all right, Roscoe. Don't worry, I'll help you. Okay, so basically you Z-target him, and then you walk backwards ever so slightly. So it's very slow that you do it. Ah, oh, there's something strange about this spot. You want me to dig here? Yes, Roscoe, I do. So you're trying to find three blue flames. Something strange is here, but there isn't any treasure. Show me another spot. Okay, and you can't go too fast or he will lose you. Um, Cause he told you he doesn't have very good eyesight. So that's why you got to take care of that wall guy. The, the one, because he drops from the ceiling and he's fucking annoying. If you don't go ahead and take care of him. Oh, there's something strange about this spot you want. I don't know why he asks this every time. I assume this is a holdover from like the Dante um, or the Dompe thing in Ocarina of Time, that mini game. Cause there's absolutely no reason for him to ask you this time. Um, you want him to dig in every spot and try every spot because it's kind of random which ones they'll be. So, yeah, uh, but I guess they just have him ask because they had him ask in Ocarina of Time. Yes, we want you to dig here. Okay, there's another one. Okay, Z target. Let's go look at this one. Yep, dig here. Nope. He wants to be sure because he can't see what he's doing. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. <laughs> that makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so then usually it's not going to be all three on the ground because there's four spots on the ground, but like it's never all three on the ground. At least I've never seen that. Um, I guess maybe if you get really lucky. So usually you'll have to use like one of these little elevator guys. So we got to lead him over to it and then he'll go up and you want to undo the Z-targeting, and you want to climb up here. And you want to greet him. Okay, come on, Dompe, you can do it. Move quickly, thank you. And then there's a spot up here. Hopefully it's this one. If it's not, we'll have to go up the other elevator too. Yes, please dig here. Ah, we have to go up the other one. Okay, we'll go to another spot. <laughs> and he'll just fall. Okay. All right, Dompe. We'll go to this one. Yeah, I'm over here. I'm over here, Dompe. Sorry. I know you told me you can't see. My bad. Okay, then we walk him over to the other elevator. So we actually had to dig all the spots this round. So a little, a little annoying. I did not guess right for which of the upper ones it would be. But you can imagine how much more annoying this is when you're trying to dodge the like hand coming down the wall and then it grabs you and it pulls you up and then you lose him. You have to start over. It's very annoying. So yeah. Okay. So now he's up there. 
And we climb up this. Pretty sure is how you do this other one. Come on, Dompe. We're hanging out over here, friend. Yep. Yes, I do. And then the flames combine, and there is a big po. What? It's the leader of the ghosts. Okay. So then we need our arrows, um, like this, and you're supposed to shoot him. You shoot him with arrows. And it's like five arrows to kill him. And I think you're supposed to use your shield to bounce him away. Oh my god. There we go. He likes to be behind you. Come here, dude. Where are you? Not that button. Where are you? Oh, I don't think I got him. Even though I was the targeting. I keep pressing the start instead of B. Oh, no, press B, not start. The heck. Okay, so that was two arrows. some stuff. That's arrows. I guess I could use some arrows. Yeah, spin. Boom. Okay. Three arrows. Just need two more. Hearts, motherfucker. Where are you? He always appears behind you, so he ends up in some weird spots. Let's go back down here where I have a little bit more space. go. Four arrows. One more should do it. There we go. Okay, when he dies, you want to scoop him up really quick before you go for the chest, because you can sell him to the curiosity shop. And he doesn't stay there forever. Come on. There we go. Got a big po. And then we can go to the chest. 
What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Do 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 do. Yeah, we got a new empty bottle. And I want to say, is there one more? There might be one more empty bottle in this game. But I think that might be all might be all the empty bottles. I'm trying to remember. I know there's one more in the 3DS one, but that's like a bonus empty bottle. So if we come up here, this is actually Dompe's room. And uh, so basically that big Poe has been underneath his bedroom terrorizing him. So you can come out here and here we go. We're in the uh, we're in this area. So let's actually go back to the curiosity shop. And we'll sell that big Poe. Yes, go to Clock Town. So that's all all three of the Akana Graveyard things that you can do. Now, you don't have to do them all in a row in one cycle like I did. You can do them in different cycles. It's totally fine. It's not like the Deku Playground or, you know, Honey and Darling. It's not, you know, it's not like those. You can do them separately, but that's all of them. Curiosity shop. Oh yeah, he doesn't like the bunny hood. He's against furries. Okay. Tonight's special bargain. Oh yeah. So he has the bomb bag. Um, if you don't save the lady, that's what happens. So you can check the bargain. You can see it's a hundred rupees for the bomb bag. So we we don't want to buy that though, because we have the biggest bomb bag. Yeah, we're not gonna check it out. We're gonna oh, I guess I have to quit shopping to get back to the selling. I wanna sell you my po. I wanna sell you my po. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. Thanks, Jane. Okay. All right, we're gonna sell a sea item. Yeah. Okay. Now you can actually sell Lulu's eggs <laughs> if you want to, but they're only worth like 20 rupees. So it's like, what's the point? Um, but the Poe is worth a, a 200. <sighs> no, we're done. We just wanted to sell you the Poe. We're going to go deposit these rupees. Yeah, we haven't evacuated yet. I'm not going to evacuate. I'm here for I'm here for it. What? Yes, we're going to give you that much. Now we've got over 2k. Yeah, it's 5k. I'm pretty sure that you get the next prize. All right. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we can do during this cycle. I think not. I think it's about time to reset time. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's reset time. Oh, wait. I need to remember the song of time. Yeah, we deposited our rupees. Okay. So we're good. We're good. We can reset time. Write A down. Okay. Yep. We're going to save and return to dawn of the first day. So that was cycle five. We got the eggs back for the Zora. We went through the pirate fortress. We did all the Akana graveyard things. Beaver races. We did a bunch of heart pieces. We got our gilded sword this round. So that's fancy. We have fancy gold sword now. We're so cool. Okay, so before we forget, we are going to go ahead and slow down time and then do a save state so we don't forget to slow down time next time. Okay. Mm. Is this it? Is it this one or do I do it backwards? I always forget <laughs> which way I'm supposed to go. Song of Double Time? 
No, okay, it's backwards. Okay, so we want... There we go. Yes, we're gonna slow the current flow of time. All right, so we have now, we have so many masks. So next time we will show our new masks to the uh, happy mask salesman. We will also be taking on the Great Bay Spider House and the Great Bay Temple as well. So let's do a save state. So we already have time slowed down. I'm gonna do it in a couple spots. Make sure I have this good and saved. Even though it really doesn't matter as much this time because we did a for real save this time with the time reset. Okay. All right. For everybody watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. We, we, we will be playing more Majora's Mask next week. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.